What's up gamers? Today's video is an absolute must watch because WinLater 11.0 beta has officially dropped and it's a total game changer. This update introduces Wine 10.10, full multi-controller support with vibration, a sleek new light and dark theme, and a completely redesigned UI. Compatibility has been boosted too, with even better Steam, Direct Input, and X Input support. But that's not all the Vortec driver has been improved, new wallpapers have been added, and several bug fixes and performance upgrades make this the smoothest version yet. And in this video, I'll walk you through the full setup, step by step, so you can unlock maximum FPS and a true PC-like gaming experience right on your Android device. To begin, head over to the WinLater GitHub repository. Scroll down until you find the releases section. There, you'll see WinLater 11, which is currently in beta. This means it's not fully stable yet. Download the APK, it's only about 145 megabytes, so it should take just one to two minutes to complete. Once the download is complete, install or update the app. You might see a warning from Google Play Protect about the app being built with an older Android version, but rest assured, it's safe to install. After installation, you'll first need to grant the app permission to access your phone storage. The OBB file for WinLater C mod now automatically downloads. This file contains all the necessary components to run the app. Then it will ask to use storage permission, just simply allow it. Click on the three hamburger menu button to access the main options. At the top, you'll see the WinLater branding followed by shortcut options for quick access to your games. Next is the container section, which I'll explain briefly later. After that, you'll find the input controls. Here, you can select a control profile for your game. WinLater comes with several presets. RTS, traditional 12 button, modern virtual gamepad, and the newly added FPS layout. You can adjust the cursor's speed and opacity to suit your preference. But that's not all, you can also download additional control layouts directly from the WinLater server. There are several dedicated layouts available. Plus, you have full customization freedom. Move, resize, add, or remove any button to match your playstyle. If you already have a saved profile, you can import it from your phone storage or download layout files for later use. Finally, in the settings section, you can fine tune your experience. Adjust the cursor speed up to 200%, change the cursor size, and even select your preferred cursor color, it's completely up to you. The preferred input API is set to auto, and you can save multiple profiles here. Box 64 is already set to the latest version 0.3.6, but you can download older ones if needed. Make sure to select performance as the Box 64 preference for the best results. And lastly, there's an About option showing the current WinLater version. Next, you'll be prompted to create a container. Click the plus icon at the top right corner to begin configuration. Start by giving your container a name and selecting the screen size, but you can go up to 1080p. I'm choosing 854 by 480, which is 16 by 9. If you notice any lag or trouble booting, you can lower the resolution in the settings. Moving on to the graphics driver, there are three options available. Turnip, Virtual GL, and Vortec, which is newly added and is experimental. If you're using a Snapdragon chipset, choose Turnip for better performance. For the DX wrapper, you can select DXVK or VKD3D. Most games run well with either. Here we can see a brand new driver called CNCD Draw. Since it's still in the experimental stage, I recommend avoiding it for now. I use DXVK version 2.4.1. For the audio driver, select the new Alpha Reflector, which creates a virtual, unbreakable audio sync. Additionally, you can enable the FPS counter if you want to track your performance during gameplay. This update includes a new dark theme, which you can switch to light if you prefer. You can also use the new WinLater default wallpaper or update your own, plus customize the font style and font DPI. Now switch to driver. Here, add a driver that means the folder in your phone storage where you store the PC games you legally own. In advanced settings, and keep box 64 on performance always and startup selection on aggressive. For the Windows version, you can select the latest Windows 11, but I prefer using Windows 10 on WinLater. Under Processor Affinity, select all the available cores. Finally, click on the tick button to create this container. Now return to the home screen and tap the Run button. We can enjoy PC software and games on Android seamlessly. There are a few options I'd like to highlight. If you click the Back button, a side toolbar will appear, where you'll find a keyboard to type, input controls that can be enabled and customized while playing any game, a full-screen toggle for maximum display coverage, and a task manager to monitor active programs including CPU, RAM, and battery usage. You also have magnification tools to zoom in, 
screen effects to adjust brightness, contrast, and gamma, and the very useful PIP that means picture-in-picture -picture mode to minimize the screen while multitasking. And that's it for this introductory look at WinLater. This video just scratches the surface and I will help me bring you the best settings and gameplay testing videos soon. If there's a specific game or feature you want me to cover, drop a comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more emulator content.